Hello guys, thanks for watching my video today. I like to do a series formula of digamma function. Okay, so we are going to represent digamma in, in into series. Okay, so now using the Weierstrass representation of gamma function, then is we have then is Weierstrass representation of gamma function is nothing but gamma of x is equal to e to the negative this more gamma into x where this more gamma is nothing but the Euler Maserani constant okay into 1 over x into product from k equal to 1 to infinity e to the x over k times 1 plus x over k inverse okay <coughs> now taking the natural log both side we get natural log of gamma x equal to this one natural log of e to the negative gamma x plus because this is a product so and it will be plus right in terms of properties of natural logarithm if you look at that plus natural log of 1 over x plus so this product become summation okay because sum of um, natural log is just the product okay product of the natural log so sum from k equal to 1 to infinity natural log of e to the x over k plus natural log of 1 plus x over k inverse okay now <coughs> natural log of gamma x is <coughs> since this natural log is base e this natural log and this e will get cancer you will get negative gamma x and minus natural log of x this one is using the property okay then is natural log of x to the n is and natural log of x okay using this one so plus sum from k equal to 1 to infinity so this one also get cancer so you get x over k and this become here come here so minus using this one natural log of 1 plus x over k now differentiating with respect to x we get ga this one if you differentiate natural log so you get gamma prime of x upon gamma x which is good eh? so differentiation of x is just one so negative gamma minus differentiation of natural log of x is 1 over x plus sum from k equal 1 to infinity differentiation of x is just one so 1 over k minus natural log of x is 1 over 1 plus x over k and again differentiate this one again so which is 1 over k now simplify this one so this one what we call the digamma function so digamma of x is equal to ne negative gamma minus 1 over x plus sum from k equals 1 to infinity 1 over k minus 1 over x plus k simplify this one okay so this is a representation of gamma function okay or you can simplify this one digamma of x is net minus this Euler mass Cironi constant plus sum from k equal 1 to infinity 1 over k separate this one minus sum from k equal 0 to infinity 1 over x plus k because these two are the same because at x k equal to 0 so you get negative 1 over x which is here and then it will start from 1 which is this one right and again or you can represent it this way digamma of x is negative times the Euler mass Cironi constant plus the sum from k equals 0 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 minus 1 over x plus k because at k equals 0 this is 1 so this at k equals 1 this is 1 so same thing okay or you can simplify a little bit again negative gamma which is the Euler mass Cironi constant plus the sum from k equals 0 to infinity x minus 1 upon k plus 1 k plus x okay so this one this this or this all all of this is the same thing okay same meaning all these are representation of digamma function okay here you have to note that x is not equal to 0 nor negative 1 negative 2 right that means it will be positive so x is a positive number or natural number right hmm. so this will be the representation of digamma function